What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Looks like our canola is ready to be harvested now. And I think our wheat is too down there. And we got two fields of wheat, so we're definitely going to have to get some more chickens. That is a lot of wheat to be handling. And we got our little corn intrusion up here that our worker kind of took off on a rant there. But corn's almost ready too. I think that'll probably be probably be ready in August. So we'll check that out. But right now I think we're going to go on over here to the JCB and the one with the baler on it. And take it on down to the bottom field and get that hay bailed up. Then we'll probably start harvesting this canola here go ahead and get that done but uh, i'm gonna run over here and grab the jcb and i'll see you when we get down to the other field now well, looks like we're about to come by the fire department that they're building now so we can get a quick little update on that i think i kind of see some stuff being done here so let's go ahead and pull into this side entrance here Oh yeah, looks like they're definitely got some things moving now, so shouldn't be too much longer and we'll have us a fire station. So that'll be good. Alright, let's continue on our journey down to the bottom field and get that hay all bailed up. It's a little tricky around these cones here. I just wanted to stop and get a quick update on that. It definitely is coming along pretty quickly, so I think by August we'll have us a, a new fire station put up there. But I will see y'all down at the field. Alright, so we're coming up on the field here. I see the JCB still there. We left it there last night. Probably shouldn't leave our equipment out on the field, but I think it's alright. So I'm going to pull on up here, I'm going to hop out, and we'll jump in this one and get it moved over so it's not in our way. Let's go ahead and get her pulled on over here. We'll go up here next to this telephone pole or light pole, whatever you want to call it. Right there, make sure we are out of the road, and we are. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Shut her down and jump on in on this one right here. Just probably pull up a little bit before we unfold it. That is probably good right there. I drop down. Let's back up just a tiny bit. And let's turn her on. And let's get this field done. Shouldn't take us too awful long. I don't think at least. Let's get that stuff out of the road there. And I think what we are picking up is hay. I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty close to being sure that we are actually picking up hay. So I don't think it's still grass. So that's good. This will be a lot of hay for us. Cows definitely need it, and we definitely need to make, mix up some total mix ration for them, so this will definitely be good. We got a lot of work to do today. There's one of our wheat fields right there. It's definitely ready to harvest, so I would assume that the other wheat field's ready to harvest too. So that's going to be good. Shouldn't take us too long to do those two. I think the uh, soybeans and the corn will be done in August, so we'll be waiting on that one more month. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this field mostly done, and I will see y'all back here shortly.
got a little bit left here to go and we don't have much that we missed i may go back and get a little bit of what we missed but it seems to me like we definitely have enough bales here to last us quite a while so i'm probably not going to go back and pick up any of the scraps so we're just not going to worry about it because i think we've got plenty to last us for at least till next year so i'm not even too concerned about um having to get another cut out of this i don't think we will anyway but i don't think we'll need it now so let's fold this on up and we'll get this back to the farm definitely need to wash it off so i'm pretty sure we are done bailing for the moment unless we have to bail up uh yeah we're probably going to bail up some straw so i might just leave this somewhere close so i'm thinking we're gonna have to bail up some straw so we'll uh We'll just leave this, I think, like right over here is where we'll leave it. And then we'll take the other JCB. Well, let's turn it off. We don't want to leave it running. Probably going to need some fuel here soon, so. Don't know. Maybe we should fill this up. Uh, I think it'll be fine for now. So let's go on down and grab the other JCB. I think it needs fuel too, so. And plus that one, it's right next to the biogas station. I could just buy some fuel if I needed to, so. Not too awful concerned about it. But uh, I will get up here and get this other JCB back to the farm and I'll see you when we get there. We're probably gonna be grabbing the harvester and can't drive the semi yet which reminds me i do have a cdl class this afternoon so hopefully by this evening we'll be able to grab the semi get the bale trailer and we could grab all these bales off of this field and the fields up there and that'll be great hopefully i'll pass we got to worry about passing first but i'll uh i'll be sure to get a little bit of video of that so that should be pretty interesting. All right, so we're almost there. I'm going to uh, go ahead and hop in this and we'll take it back to the farm. I'll see you when we get there. Alright everybody, we are back. Don't want to run over my buddy there, so I'm going to go on around him. And this is going to need to be washed off, so we'll take it on up here and get it lined up with the other equipment. We'll turn her off. Jump on out and let's see, where is the harvester? I think it's in here. There it is. Be the first time firing this thing up, so let's see how it goes. Jump on inside there. Pretty cool gadgets there. Some more gadgets up there. I don't know if we'll be able to see it filling up in the window back there, but Maybe we will. Let's just get this thing and drive and pull on out. And we're going to need the... Let's see. Yeah, here we go. This is what we need right here. We need this hitter. And we don't have a header trailer, so hopefully we don't hit anything. 
Got a mirror there. Got a mirror there. All right. Oh, we're already hitting stuff. It is going to be real hard to see where we're at here. All right, so I think I'm going to start on the first field we come to. Hey, buddy. Come on now. What are you doing? Don't don't run under the vehicle. Why are you running in circles? Or well, walking in circles? I right, gotta take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage. There we go. Hopefully we didn't run over them. I didn't feel anything. So oh 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 oh. What do we hit? Oh, we hit a bell. Need to get those picked up, but we can't do it right now. So, all right. So let's go ahead and start here. So let's let's see. What do we got to do here? This thing is massive. Okay. All right. I guess it's already unfolded. So let's lower it down and start it up. And let's go ahead and take off. Try to get an inside view here a little bit. It's kind of hard to see what we're doing. But that oh, missed a little bit there. This isn't too bad. We should be done with this field relatively quick. Six miles an hour is not fast, but it is a pretty wide header. So, shouldn't take us too long at all. Try to get as much as we can. This field isn't very big. Well, for this header, a lot of these fields aren't going to be big, except my big soybean field back here. Oh, yeah, you can see it going in there. That's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, you can see it filling up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Everything looking all right. Just going to take us a little while to get it done, but we will get it done. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this out and I will see y'all back here shortly. So let's swing this thing on around here and let's get this pipe out I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to um, pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get the uh, dump truck in here so we'll leave that running or run over here and grab the dump truck which is good because it's pretty close to the farm, so. At least I'm not running from way down there all the way up here. I'll just go straight through the field here. We're not going to hurt nothing. 
soybeans are looking pretty good. Uh, they should be done next month. So we should be harvesting this huge field next month, I hope. All right. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Nope. I think we emptied it out last time we cleaned the chicken, so... Go ahead and get this thing all going. Shifting gears there. Alright. Now we should be able to get on up in the field here, so... Let's go ahead and try that. And we'll get on up underneath her. Let's see here. Can't really see anything. Take a look, peek outside. Well, that's why cover's on. Don't need that cover on. Looks like we're a little too far away, but it's still dumping in there. I don't know, I kind of feel bad about that. Let's pull up and back her on up just a tad more. That's better. A lot better. So I don't know what the price of canola is right now. So let's take a peek and see. Let's see here. I haven't done this in a while, so let's figure this out here. I think it's this. Yeah. All right, canola. 2,500. You know what? We're going to, uh, and we're going to go ahead and sell it. Cause I think that's a pretty good price. Cause everything else is pretty low. So let's go ahead and do that so let's cover her on back up let me turn this harvester off real quick shut that on down and looks like we got to go over there so see how we're going to get out of here go up to the end of the field here and then scoot across and get on the road there. There we go. Probably going to get a grain cart here sometime in the future because I don't want to keep driving these big heavy trucks on the field. But it's all right. That's just what we got to do right now. All right, so let's get on down there. We got to go over there, so not too bad. It'll be our first time dropping a load off. So we'll see how it goes. We need to come pick all these bales up too. They're all over the place over here. Wonder how much we're gonna get for this. We have 20,350 liters in the back of this. So let's see. Corn looking good right there. Let's see, can we pull up on this side? I think we can. All right, slowly get on up in here. There we go. Let's take a peek on the outside. Uh, kind of hard to see there. All right. Hop on out and take a look at that. 
I don't know why I got a set to that. That's what we had last time, so. I'll have to remember to change it to the lift gate next time. Instead of the grain door. Just coming on out. Hopefully it doesn't take forever, but that's my fault. Next time we'll do it the correct way. All right, we got fifty thousand dollars for that. Fifty thousand nine hundred and one for just that one truckload. So I think I was right about the price there. We're probably not gonna get another price like that ever again for canola. All right, I know you're not supposed to turn this way, but I am today. There we go. Always some birds lingering around. I think I just ran over one though, which I did not want to do. But that's all right. So we'll get this back on over to the field and I will see y'all there. All right, so we're going to park right here. That should be good. Yeah. I'm loving that Mack truck. That, that thing's pretty nice. So let's go on over here and hop in the harvester one more time. And I think we'll be able to finish this field off. Should be able to at least. Fire it on up. Let's pull that back in. And we're going to try to get this done, and I will see y'all back here shortly. So we got this little bitty strip left here since I can't drive straight. And then we're going to, we'll probably go over to the truck. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll ride over to the truck. Make sure we get our arm out here. There we go. There she is. And let's spin on around and see if we can line this thing up right. Without hitting anything. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess I just can't judge distance, can I? Alright, that's kind of close there. I think that'll do. Eh, that's close enough. Alright, so let's take the cover off on this. And she is dumping on in there. Oh yeah, it's we got pretty good there. We can hop up here and check things out, can we? Oh yeah, we can. That looks pretty cool there. Getting that canola unloaded. And hopefully we can get the rest of that in there. I think we did. So let's shut her on down and we'll take another load down there. And I think we'll have to go get started on the wheat field next. Probably not going to get it finished, but we will start it. All right, so let's swing this thing on around. It's just kind of a heavy load. All right, 
don't want to back too far. Well, we've already ran through the field, so I guess it doesn't matter if I do back all the way up into it. All right. Got to make sure we change our tipping place. We don't want that grain door. We want to open up that lift gate, so... Hopefully we've got that straightened out. And I'm sure the prices probably came down now. But we're probably still going to get a pretty good price on it. So we'll just take it and drop it off. I think the wheat, though, we're going to take and put in our own grain silo. And then we'll probably have to expand the chickens because they're not going to be able to eat all this wheat. I mean, look at all this. We got two fields of that, too. So uh, We might be able to do other things with the wheat. I'm not sure. We'll have to check into that. I think there's some other things we can do, though. I'm sure... Uh, I don't know. The diner will probably want to buy some from us and some other places, so... i have to check those out. Alright, there we go. Alright. Start unloading that. There we go, that's better. That was a lot quicker, and we got $38,234. So that is pretty, pretty good there. And I'm going to go ahead and take this truck on over here to the next field, which is this one where I left up here. About 9 a.m. and the workers haven't showed up yet. I don't know what they're going to be doing today, but maybe they'll get here shortly. Probably picking up material or whatever they're doing. So we'll check back in on them later on today and see how they're doing. We'll get this truck parked on over here. Next to the field. Make sure nobody's coming. Which we haven't seen anybody else on the road at all, so been kind of lazy sometimes and not looking and that is not good so we'll pull off on over here and turn that off hop on out and I am going to run over here and grab the harvester and I will see y'all back here shortly alright so we have made it here Drop her down, fire her up, and see how this works. Alright, am I missing any? I think I am. I sure am. Let's not start off on a bad note. Let's go ahead and pick it all up. There we go. And it is probably going to be pretty hard to get this done in this episode so I think we're just going to do maybe half of it and then we'll continue on in the next episode and hopefully in the next episode I can get my CDL license and we won't have to keep driving the dump truck around for this we'll just use the dump truck to feed our chickens but dump truck's not too bad. I like driving it around, so I'm not complaining at all. I do kind of like it. But I wonder how many times we're going to fill this harvester up on this field. Got about 8,000 liters in there now. See, I'm missing some already. Don't want to miss any, so let's come on back. Oh, that's right, we're uh, creating a straw swath, too, so... That's a very huge one. I don't know if my tractor's 
and uh Baylor's gonna like that but oh what started out missing some already we're not gonna worry about it I am just terrible at driving up oh, there we go again missing some more but I'm gonna get as much of this done as I can and I will see y'all back here shortly So we're almost full again and there she is she is full and we're gonna have to uh go ahead and shut this down so we're gonna have to take the dump truck and empty it and i think that'll do it for today's episode because we're gonna have to i think we're gonna have to get that cdl first because we're barely getting one strip in and filling the dump truck up completely and not even emptying the harvester all the way. So we can get it done this way. It's just going to take a lot longer. And I think once we get that trailer hooked up to the semi and get it on out here, I think we'll get this stuff done a whole lot quicker. So I'm just going to have to get that CDL class done. So let's spin this thing around. I hate driving over the swaths, but don't think it's going to hurt them. My baler's going to pick them up regardless, so. But yeah, I think it'll be our best bet is to get that CDL done so we can get the big trailer out here. Because this is just going to take way too long with the dump truck. I hate to let that sit out here, but I think it'll be fine until we get back. Uh, we got about an hour until I have to go to the CDL class. So that will probably be in the next episode. We'll get that done and then um, we'll be on back here to finish everything off. I think we got what two fields left that one and another one and then um you know let's check on the chickens while we're here they have not had food in a while so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and just feed them anyway go ahead and pull on up here there we go We'll just go ahead and drop them some. All right, so they ate about, uh, I don't know, not much. Spin on around here. Last time we did this, it was dark, so we really couldn't see what we were doing. Maybe we left some grass back here, but it'll be all right. All right, can I get this done without tearing up my soybeans I don't think I can so what I'm gonna do is that was a weird angle to look at wasn't it I am just going to spin it turn as much as I can there oh yeah I think we can get this there we go I don't know where my trigger is is the 
thing, though. Let's back it on up some more. There it is. There y'all go. Alright, let's spin her on around and get to the next one. This is definitely not as hard as it was at nighttime. Actually, we don't even have to spin around, do we? We can just drive on through here. That's right, I can't see anything out the back. I don't know why I constantly do that. Can't see out of the back. See how much they take. Not much either. So, these chickens don't eat a lot at all. Not at all. Alright, so we'll go on up here. And we're going to switch the unload to the, the lift gate. And we're going to pull in here. This is a very tight spot here. There we go. Go ahead and dump the rest of that weed out. Yeah, it dumps pretty quick like that. Go ahead and shut this off. And I think that's going to do it for today. Didn't get a lot done, but we got a few things done. We got, uh, got that hay field down there all bailed up, and we got canola field done and started on the wheat field so we're moving right along we got some machinery here we got to wash off but uh i appreciate everybody coming to watch hopefully everybody's doing well and as always have a good one